And Patrick Schmitzer writes in about a product I reviewed a couple of years ago called the Canary Security Camera. It was something I was actually pretty fond of and uh, recommended it to people who were looking for something simple to uh, monitor some rooms in their house and whatnot. At the time, it was a pretty good uh, value, I thought, because it had some good degree of functionality, even if you did not opt for their subscription plan. Now, in full disclosure, they did send me a camera free of charge to review on the channel, and I'm still using it uh, down here in the studio. But a couple of months ago, things changed, and uh, Patrick reminded me of something I wanted to talk about, which I'm going to talk about now. So I've got the uh, app up here, and uh, you can see some of the events that it detected earlier today. So what I can do here is click the play button and play back a motion event that it picked up. Now, you're going to notice something here at the top. It says, access full videos, activate your membership. Now, membership costs 10 bucks a month or $100 a year for a single camera. And uh, what it used to do was play the entire motion event. Uh, now, the most it'll give you is 30 seconds of that event. So they've taken away uh, the full-length recording feature that was available for free initially with the product. And what gets me is that the product was more expensive two years ago when it first came out. It was about $200 or $250. And uh, this was some of the value of the product was that it would store these videos for free on their server so you could download them if somebody were to break into your house. Uh, now it's only going to give you about 30 seconds or so after that motion event started. So if somebody came down here and uh, was totally trashing the place for a half an hour, it won't give me a half an hour of video, just maybe the first 10 to 30 seconds of that video. The worst part is, is that you can no longer download the video either, which you used to be able to do. So if I click on the share button here, which would have prompted me to get a download, uh, now I've got to activate the membership and pay a monthly fee to get access to something that I once had access to for free. And I think for a lot of paying customers, this feels like a bait and switch. They bought this product with the premise that they could download these videos, have full length videos stored on the server, and uh, now that's been taken away. Even on the free plan, there were some limitations at the beginning of the product in that if you didn't download that video within 12 hours, it would go away, and they only stored five videos at a time. But now, uh, even though the video length has been extended to 24 hours, you're only getting a small snippet, and you can no longer download it. So unless you pay them uh, and somebody breaks into your house, you've got no way of really showing the authorities anything useful, I guess, unless you uh, hook the phone up to a capture card or something and uh, do it that way. So that was the uh, first big issue with it. And the other feature they stripped away is something called night mode. And what that would do is have the camera uh, monitor things while you were sleeping, uh, but it would not push a notification out. So when you woke up in the morning, you could go back to your timeline and look at everything to see if something happened inside the house at night. Maybe the dog was acting up or whatever. Uh, now, if you select night mode without the uh, account uh, thing with them, uh, you're getting prompted here with more spam to activate your membership. And the other feature they stripped away is something called night mode. And what that would do is have the camera uh, monitor things while you were sleeping, uh, but it would not push a notification out. So when you woke up in the morning, you could go back to your timeline and look at everything to see if something happened inside the house at night. Maybe the dog was acting up or whatever. Uh, now, if you select night mode without the uh, account uh, thing with them, uh, you're getting prompted here with more spam to activate your membership. So I wanted to show you just a quick breakdown here of all the changes that have been made to this product. And this is one of the pitfalls of these cloud-dependent security cameras. They can change the way the product works anytime, and you may have less of a product than you had when you initially bought it, which is definitely the case here. So first issue, of course, is the fact that we no longer have the same video storage that we had before. So before it would record a full-length video for 12 hours, keep five of those recordings at any given time. Uh, now it's only storing 30-second video clips. It does give you 24 hours with some more recordings, but these clips are so short, they may not be that useful uh, versus having a full-length recording. Uh, before in 2015, you could do a live recording of your camera at any time. Now you can't do that unless you pay for the subscription. You can no longer download recordings. The night mode, as I mentioned, doesn't work either. And they even made the monthly plan more expensive. So initially, it was $9.99 for four devices. Uh, now it's $9.99 for one device. If you want to go beyond that, uh, you're going to be paying about $15 a month. So really just a poor practice here. And of course, the company probably wanted to get as many of these things out there initially, and they probably succeeded at that. Now they're realizing the cost involved in doing that, and they're scaling back features. But I think it's just poor practice, and I don't know if it's illegal or not. They probably have something in their terms of service that says they can change how the product works anytime they want. But it's really prompting me to take a second look at uh, some of these cloud-dependent security cameras because it may just change its functionality completely. And I'm going to be really looking for things now that don't require a monthly fee to operate. I'm more than happy to pay a fair price for a product up front that works the same way throughout its lifespan 
uh, versus something like this where they take features away and want more money out of you to get those features back. Poor practice and shame on Canary for that. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Black Eyed and Blues Music Hour podcast, Chris Allegretta, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.